more turning elbow. Here they go again! He's on rubber legs again! This crowd out of their seats, and rightfully so. Australia's best Muay Thai talent converge on the Doncaster Shopping Ten Hotel for Warriors Way 23. Tonight, Ramesh Habib takes on Ben Kant. Alexi Put the Great Petrulios returns to Warriors Way to throw down with Riddler's Jim's Ben Lucas. And in our main event of the evening, the strap is on the line as Indigo Boy goes head to head with Eight Blades Chris Nguyen. All that and more coming up next on Warriors Way. And with me tonight is Mark the Hammer Castanini. Tonight, promoter Mark, how this all come together? Well, uh, it's, a, it's a great card. So much excitement around this one, Stephen. Especially the title fight, our main event, WMC title. Doesn't get more credible than that. Indigo and Chris Newen. You know what? Absolutely no one is clear on who will take this one out. So I'm really excited for this whole card and indeed our main event. But before we get to our main event of the evening, it's a couple of the fights earlier. Richard Dinker and Graham King went head to head at 3 by 2 K1 rules hammer. Yeah, uh, a good opening uh, fight, this one. Of course, we're looking at uh, some of the highlights from earlier in the night before we get into our main card. But uh, Dinka uh, from Marshall Spirit taking on Graham King from Progressive uh, Health and Fitness. Graham in the blue, Richard Dinka in the red. And it was uh, a rough and ready affair, this one. And plenty of heat thrown by particularly red Graham Bonner, King. Richard. But, but it was Richard Dinker who took out the first fight of the night, going to the judges' scorecards. And our second fight of the evening, Derek Chung from the wrong gym, up against Brandon Sam, ACSA, modified tie rule, three by two, and again, another entertaining fight, Hammer. Oh, definitely, and uh, Brayden uh, had, a, had a great uh, uh, battle on, our, on the last Warriors Way show, was victorious. Uh, this one he fronted up against uh, Derek Cheng and uh, Derek certainly come willing as both boys clinched up, showing some good Thai skills in this battle. From the outset, a great even matchup. Strong in the clinch and uh, good spectacular moves on the outside as well. Yeah, both fighters not uh, afraid to engage and go toe to toe either. And uh, again, this one went the distance, but a great uh, fight nonetheless. Red corner, Braden. And Braden Sam. Sam walked away with it in the judges' scorecard, taking the second fight of the evening. And a hot prospect he is as well. And in our third fight of the night, David Bargell, the ring gym, threw down with Vinlay in a three by two modified tie fight. Vinlay out of the get going, Jim. And again, another entertaining fight to start things here at the Doncaster Shopping Town Hotel. Yeah, Vin, a real crowd favourite, Vinny Lee. And uh, against uh, David from the ring gym with Andrew Colgrave in his corner. Always well, well versed, the fighters from the ring gym. But uh, they certainly threw down these guys. In the 68 kilo weight division. And they uh, really let the leather fly. Big body kicks there from David. But the Vin. A very, a very uh, exciting fighter. As I said, great crowd support. Everyone was on the edge of their seats from this one from the outset. And great power too by Vin. As he said, giving it the come on, where are you? Oh, a great, and a there. great chin to boot as well. <laughs> Tough and willing. But what a way to open the show with uh, these these great matchups. Unanimous points decision. Blue corner, David. But David Bargill oh, ended up victorious, taking up fight number three. So, Warriors Way 23, this fight brought to you by Revolt. And, uh, well, we're getting set here with Andrew Newen up against Brandon Rosario. Three by two, full tie rules, 63 kilograms. I'm Steve White, joined by Mark the Hammer Castanini and Nick Mara ringside. Good evening, gentlemen. What a fantastic bout. What a fantastic lineup. Thank you very much, Hannah, for putting this together. What an exciting night. We've got a sold out show here at the Doncaster Shopping Town Hotel. And two Warriors in the middle of the ring Andrew Nguyen and Brandon Rosario. Brandon in uh, blue. And, uh, and Andrew, obviously, in the red, coming out of immersion. Fight, Jim. And these two fighters very well matched up. See, just uh, judging the distance between each other. And uh, just an interesting point with these two guys. They've both uh, been uh, down to my gym, down to Hammer's gym, uh, Friday nights. Uh, we turn it on and have a bit of sparring. Everyone's welcome, and these guys have come down 
mixed it up on, on different nights. So I've had a bit of insight into both of these fellas. And uh, something else is that uh, some years ago, Andrew Newen actually used to train with me uh, when he first started out in Muay Thai. Of course, now training with my good mate, uh, Keith Grant. And Keith, uh, also a big thank you to him for helping uh, put this show together behind the scenes as well. So Andrew Newen out of the red corner, taking on Brandon Rosario uh, from Hangar 4 with uh, also my good mate, Carl Drapper. And Carl, in fact, uh, was one of the founders of Warriors Way. Started with me back in the day as well. So. Uh, a lot of love for both corners uh, from, from me for this one. But uh, I tell you what, Brandon Rosario, what a talent. Uh, he's certainly a fighter, a, a, an up-and-coming fighter to look out for. And Andrew Newen, just a, a well-put-together technical fighter, tough as you like. So this is going to be an interesting affair, and, and it is proving to be that already in the first round. Yeah, the three-by-two-minute rounds. Guy's going for it, and you can see it right here. Rosario not letting off the pace, and so is Andrew Newen as he goes to the body that time. And uh, not much time left in round number one, but a frenetic pace to start here at the Doncaster Shopping Town Hall. That's round, round one, one in the books. And uh, both guys not giving an inch here in the first round. Boys from Hangar 4 there in the blue corner. A close first round. Certainly uh, um, Andrew coming on strong, walking forward. Trying to grind down uh, Brendan Rosario. To, uh, Brendan trying to use his height and reach advantage slightly. We're into the second now. Nice jab, high round kick from Brendan. Brandon now going to the body, mixing it up, going high and chopping low. Oh, Superman punch uh, early here in the second. They go into the clinch. Really nice uh, short knee there from Brandon. Back into the center of the ring. Saw a really good clinch there in the uh, from both fighters in the first round. So oh, an awesome spinning elbow elbows being thrown there by Brandon Rosario. Rosario is a gamer here. He's not uh, afraid to pull out. He's, we've seen spinning elbows, Superman punch, and now he's coming forward with the right, just looking for that uh, the temple there with that cutting elbow. I tell you what, Stephen, I don't know what's going to happen, but do not blink oh, because Brandon is throwing some absolute bombs here. I'm loving this energy from Rosario. It's just go, go, go. I mean, as I said, in those three, these two-minute rounds, you've got to throw every caution to the wind and go for it. And Rosario, you know, he's, he's up in fifth, sixth gear. As you win, though, tough as nails. Let, sorry, let me tell you guys, uh, Rosario is a fighter that will just try different things. He's very dynamic for, for a fighter of, of his experience. He's only had two or three fights. But let me tell you, he'll try all sorts of moves. He's dynamic with his, his uh, clinch and takedowns. And uh, elbows are a bit of a favourite thing for him. In turn, Andrew Newen into red shorts. He's, he's just going to walk forward and uh, just try and grind his opponent down all day long. Tough as you like. But uh, Rosario, for mine, uh, is, is certainly here to put on the show. A lot of nerves, though, from both these young fellas, I tell you. Um, speaking to them both you know, before the event, they're keen to put on a good display. So much pressure on both these young men. Those right hands and those right elbows have absolutely taken their toll on Andrew Nguyen. Thank goodness the ref stepped in. He's going to get the, uh, give him the eight count. Just make sure that he's okay. He's knocked for six there with some big right hands. And, and uh, doctors looks like he's going to come in and have a look at this because those two nasty cuts there above the left eye. Brandon Nguyen, but he's taken him like a trooper. Just the onslaught of Rosario. That's it. Dr. Chris Barnes, one of the uh, the best in the business of combat sports. And of course, uh, the athlete's welfare is always paramount. So he'll assess this cut very closely. And uh, the, uh, the, the cuts to the head, it's been called off. Yeah. The doc's called it uh, too bad a cut. It's all over, unfortunately, for Andrew Nguyen. It looked like he wanted to keep going there. But what a way to... Uh, to end the fight for uh, Rosario with elbows. He went hunting for those big elbow shots and certainly found the mark in the end. His corner is going to be well pleased with his efforts. If we take a look at the replay here. Look, you can see all his blood streaming. And again, Rosario just finding a home there for that right elbow. He was doing it all in the first round. And then he upped the ante, Superman punch. Oh, and he just, just, just the confidence. And that was the one uh, that the referee had seen enough. Yeah, it turned him nicely and, and reset for the elbow. As I said, experience well beyond his fighting career at this point. Someone to look out for, Brandon Rosario. Pat. Ladies and gentlemen, goes to the blue corner, Brandon Rosario. So hangar four, victorious, an impressive display there from Brandon Rosario. Keep your eyes on this guy as he moves through the ranks of Australian Muay Thai.
carry protection Now with your heart go on Like Celine Dion Come on, come on And I make the motherfucker wonder if you dare Damn right, can I do it again? Cause yeah, I'm hot So next fight brought to you here by Blackburn Car Care. It's uh, Blake Gilbertson, the Murray Thai Boxing, up against Red James one. Hackett, Dynamite Muay Thai. Three by two minute rounds, full Thai rules. And this one should be a beauty. And uh, a late step up for this fight too, gentlemen. James Hackett stepping up to take on Blake Gilbertson. So uh, Blade was matched, but his opponent unfortunately pulled out. So we, we went hunting only days before this one. And a big thank you to the crew from Dynamite Muay Thai. Dennis and Lily, and indeed James Hackett for stepping up and fighting Blade. Blade, another fighter that's come down and uh, has sparred with the crew uh, down at Hammers. He's uh, worked out with the likes of River Daz and of course Sammy Hemming, Hemming Richard Fatale. Uh, he's also sparred guys like Brandon Rosario and Andrew Nguyen, um, who we saw previous fight. And a big thank you for Revolt Fight Gear as well. Billy and the team at Revolt for uh, getting behind this show. All these gloves you're seeing, beautiful gold gloves and uh, the black gloves supplied by Revolt. That, uh, as I was saying, um, Blade, a fighter with a big future as well. And he's certainly going to be tested here. The boys from Dynamite, very strong Thai stylists, Dynamite Muay Thai. And James Hackett, physically a lot bigger. He's going to look to, to, to uh, bomb down with those elbows just like that. Yeah and try and lock on with that clinch and knee, knowing that uh, he's perfectly built uh, for Thai boxing Hackett. In turn, you've got Blake Gilbertson, who's a tough nuggety fighter. He's been training from uh, a very young age, done a lot of martial arts up, up there, uh, up north uh, in Vic of Victoria, Albury Wodonga area, but, uh, and he's, he's well known in the country districts. So he's representing country, it's country versus city, this one. <laughs> Gilbertson in the red. And as you mentioned, uh, the height advantage that Blade has, that uh, James has over over Blade, but Blade does not care at all. He's right into that clinch and uh, not being ragged. I'll be needs to watch out for those downward elbows. I mean, only one of those That's needs to round number one. score your head open, and the fight's all over as we saw in the previous fight. Nick Pickle Davies in the corner there with Blade. So round number two about to get going. As I mentioned, this one brought to you by Blackburn Car Care. Get down there and uh, see them for all of your uh, automotive needs. And uh, this one, an entertaining one so far. Obviously, a huge uh, size advantage to James Hackett, but uh, Blake Gilbertson giving as good as he's getting. He got straight into the middle of the ring. A lot of backward step. Oh, and there oh, he goes for a beautiful sweep. Absolutely perfectly timed. Catches James, lifts up his uh, superior height and dumps him down to the canvas. Big right hand there from Blade. Back into the clinch again. And I'm so surprised that Blade looks so comfortable against the fighter who's so much taller. But, um, man, I'll tell you what, those country boys, they build them tough, guys. <laughs> they they build do. them tough. And you'll see, you'll notice Blade just going hip to hip because if he kicks his hips back, he's going to leave uh, leverage there. Um, oh, on this, big oh. shot there! Oh, my goodness! Blade is absolutely turning on the strikes here and the punches. James doesn't know what to do, how to respond, getting that left knee up. But I tell you what, Blade is not having any of it. Blade is just absolutely torrential here. Are we going to see this fight come to a quick conclusion? Oh, man, Gilbertson smells blood. Hackett was really hurt there in that corner. I'm surprised Bright Burst Whistle didn't step in earlier, but he's letting it go. Likes to, likes to let the boys mix it up, Bryce, <laughs> and keep the action flowing. You'll see, you'll see uh, Blade just try and stay on the inside and uh, wear down Hackett. He's going to try and keep his hip on hip, not to let, uh, um, not to let the, the knees come up on the inside. And while he's trying to keep hip to hip, uh, Hammer, James is managing to get some yeah. really nice knees in. And a little sticky, um, elbow, a sticky elbow there that Hackett just got through. The, the distance, the punching range is, is really where Blake Gilbertson is, is at his best. He's a good, strong, low kicker, and he's a solid, solid puncher. The, 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 the thing I see him doing is punching and then falling into the clinch of Hackett. He wants to punch oh, and then come out. Huge yeah. right hand, Terry Hammer. That was another big shot what there from Blake Gilbertson at the round. end of the round. Man, what, what yeah, a fantastic round yeah, of action that was here. Non-stop, Warriors bananas. Warriors way 23. We have got an absolute jam-packed evening this evening. All the tickets were sold out. 
of course, wall to wall. Some of the best crowds you get in, in Australia, one of the best shows in Australia. So, final round ahead of us. You can see Sainaji there in the corner of play. Gilbertson, who's going on the attack early. Hackett, of course, sticking to his game plan of clinching and kneeing. I'd like to see Blade just step back and let his hands fly. The, the thing is that when a striker fights a grappler, generally they'll throw punches and fall into the clinch. The key is to throw the punches and step out on your combo. Nice catch and take and down again from Gilberton. Just, Murray Muay Thai. Just sublime technique. And against that. Oh! oh! And bright word whistle. I think he's going to count it. Yep, the count is coming. That was huge. It was a short hook followed by the straight right that caught Hackett. And as I said, the power in uh, Gilbertson's hands is a very underestimated. Once again, he'll come forward and try and roll that overhand right or the lead uppercut. He wants to shake that clinch off and give himself room to work those hands. Blade throwing some nice little sharp left elbows there. Catches James again, but doesn't get the third takedown. Back into the clinch, which has been mostly the tail of this evening's fight. And there we go for the takedown. Blade manages to score again. So Hackett now trying to just survive in the clinch, get the clinch on and hang in there. Try and see out the final bell. Blade Gilbertson looking to finish this one. Yeah, he's trying to stay away from Blade's right hand because that has done untold damage so far in this fight. He's again trying to tie up at uh, Blade Gilbertson. It doesn't look like he's skipped a beat at all. It he's... looks like he's just getting warmed up, doesn't yeah. it? Big hitter. Big hitter to Gilbertson. Yeah. <laughs> and, a, and a testament to Hackett. You know, we said that uh, they built they built the uh, country boys tough, and there he goes for the third takedown. But the fact that James keeps coming forward, he is breathing heavily, he has been knocked, but he just keeps moving forward. And oh, keeps another big, big left left. right. Oh, man, straight down the pipe. And James going to get the count again. Wow. Four. Let me tell you, I've seen uh, Gilbertson throw those right Seven. hands, inspiring, and he's solid, and he's a, he's a big hitter. But uh, James Hackett is uh, showing just how tough he is. He's worn the big shots and seen the fight out. Oh, man, that was an action pack round. Blake Gilbertson turning it on here, but Hackett tough as nails. He's still standing. He looks pretty disappointed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous points decision from the red corner, Razor Blade Gilbertson. So thanks to Blackburn Car Care, Blade Gilbertson takes this one. Here at Warriors Way. So up next, fight number six of the evening. Three by two, full tie rules. Richard Fadley out of Hammers Gym, who's departed us ringside to go and sit in the corner and dispense advice taking on absolute mma's hector vigor this one brought to you by glenny kebabs big shout out to Assad. they've jumped on uh, here at warriors way best kebabs in melbourne and uh, we thank them for their sponsorship richard yeah. has come out firing here Stephen. i mean he is not taking a backward step he's just going to settle down now and let hector get into his rhythm hector moving in and again Fadalay just uh, finding his distance is looking with that, that one two down the pipe and trying to stay away there is Hector. Oh, nice kick and catch. And uh, well, turning it on now, it's Fadalay, big overhand right. And wow, this has uh, gone up a few beats per minute early in the fight. And uh, Fadalay, it's yet another product of Hammers. Big overhand right, that just glanced. There you go, Hector, sorry, big. Big swing and a miss, unfortunately. He's got to watch out because. Oh, big shot again from Fadalay. He smells blood. And uh, wow, but this, <laughs> That's this, this is intense. Fadalay swinging for the fences. Fadalay's that doing absolute damage here, throwing bombs overhead. It almost looks like he's throwing a cowpaw. And uh, it's all Hector can do to stay in this fight at the moment. He's being knocked. Oh, and, but he's still in it. And, yeah, he can, he can see that the momentum is fairly. Firmly in the in the favour here of Richard Fadalay. Lands big shots early. But again, Vigor now looks like he's steadied a little bit. It looks a little bit wobbly. But uh, another kick and catch there by Richard. But uh, obviously, you know, Hector's got the size at the reach advantage, but uh, that hasn't proved much so far in this fight. Richard's been on song. And again, another overhand right. 
those big bombs, I tell you what, they have been landing, but he seems to have run out a little bit of steam now. And chopping low kick there, switching things up and again to the left leg. There, of a Superman punch! It's so exciting to see how Richard just changes levels up, down, top, bottom. And wow, wow what an opening two minutes there. Richard Fadale, I have to give that one on the cards to him. As you see, Hammer in the corner. He's got to be happy with that performance. But uh, Hector Vigo, tough as nails. You see Hector in the corner with his trainer towel. So round number two coming up here. Richard Fadale and Hector Vigo at 64 kgs. Three by two minute rounds, full tie rule. This one, as we said, brought to you by Plenty Kebabs. We thank them and all the sponsors for putting on Warriors Way here this evening. Hector seems to have composed himself, Stephen. He's got... Uh, He's got Richard backed up, but you know what? Richard's just absolutely terrifying when he starts throwing those big bombs. Well, you see, he's getting, doing a good job of breaking the range there for Vigo and just coming in underneath. Vigo's trying to keep him at bay with, with the kicks. And uh, again, great counter right there from Richard. Hector trying to use the height advantage into the clinch with both fighters. And just as we saw in the previous fight, Richard trying to go hip to hip just to try and take that leverage away. And oh, huge overhand right again. Oh, man. Fadalek on the attack again. As we saw this around, that Superman punch wasn't far away. And Hector's holding on for life, dear life here. He's really got to watch out, Stephen, because Richard's throwing massive, massive bombs. And although he's the smaller man, he seems to be the more powerful tonight. And then Vigo's turn to come forward now, but he's got to be careful again. That, that overhand right's opened him up all throughout this fight. But not taking a backward step there is Hector. And again, chopping low kick, then switching up. May have been a little south of the border, Mexico way. But uh, Bryce Burst Whistle says, let's go, gentlemen. Vigor now looking for the head kick. Looked for that a couple of times in the first round. Big one, two down the pipe there by Richard Fadale. They see Hammer in the corner screaming out instruction to Richard. Richard doesn't need to see. And that beautiful tape moving Hector back. Three or four times he's done that in that in this fight. And oh big oh Hector's to turn out. Oh big left straight down the pipe again. Fanley just seems to find that range when Hector's coming forward. Here they go throwing big rubber. Yeah, well that, that knee on the exit there from Hector was flush on the chin. Richard took that pretty well. Oh you shot! And, and it's all over. over! I can't believe it! Richard's taken it away! And Hector is absolutely out to lunch! There you see him celebrating with his trainer, Mark Hanna Castanini, and what an amazing knockout from the little powerhouse, Richard Fatale. Well, Hammer's Jim dropping the hammer there in the second round. Richard Fatale commanding performance. As we take a look at the replay, here comes the overhand right, bang, and he was out before he hit the canvas. And that's the good night, Irene. Trademark Michael Chevello, if I've ever seen it. We see the setup again. Came forward with the elbow, that opened up, was looking for the kick, and Fadale right on the button. And it doesn't, you see the Glenys Kebabs boys were quite impressed with that, as you can see there. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and 59 seconds into round number two. This fight ended, declaring your winner by knockout, Mohamed Fatile. Mohamed Richard Fadale, you can see the approval from Rivadaz in the corner. And a very happy Mark the Hammer Castanini. He takes this one here at Warriors Way 23. I'm hustling every day. I'm hustling every day. I'm hustling every day. And uh, we've got Tim Davies out of the Smack Gym up against Emmanuel Fabri at Dominance MMA at 74 kg, three by two, full tie rules in effect. This one brought to you by Evo Evu Real Estate. Excuse me, go down there and see Arthur and the crew if you're looking to sell or buy or both, depending on what your portfolio is like. I know mine's pretty bad, but. Uh, we welcome uh, Mark the Hammer Castanini back ringside. What an exciting fight, Richard. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty torrid affair. So Richard, uh, there's some of those uh, knees from uh, from uh, Hector getting uh, real close to the, ch the, the chin. But uh, Richard, of course, is a little powerhouse, trained hard for this one, and they got a well-deserved uh, KO in the end. But uh, big props to Hector Vigo for uh, certainly pushing the pace a bit. As we lock it up in this one, Timothy Davies from Smack Jim, Matt Ball, 
actually in Thailand and not able to do the, uh, the corner duties for this one. So uh, the boys are looking after themselves from uh, Smack Jim down in Somerville. And uh, he's, of course, taking on Emmanuel Fabri. Emmanuel formerly uh, trained uh, alongside Sai Naji, but now at Dominance MMA with uh, uh, O'Neill and uh, Tali in the corner. Both uh, fighters locked up here in the corner. So Emmanuel Fabry, uh, he's got a, a good pedigree and background uh, training. And uh, the bigger boys are in. So these guys are up around the 74. I say they weighed in around 74, so they're probably up around the 70, 78, uh, 80 kilo mark after weighing, refilled. So uh, they're going to be solid in, uh, in centre ring for this one. And this one, in contrast to the previous fights we've seen, pretty much in the clinch for most of it. But uh, both gentlemen not afraid to stand and bang. If that's the case, beautiful body kick there by Fabry. Fabry uh, just going forward, just looking to grab on that clinch. And uh, Davies trying to box his way out. But it's what we spoke about earlier, gentlemen, where you you know a lot of fighters will box and then fall into the clinch of, of a, a Thai stylist. If you've got good hands and you, you flow with your boxing, when you finish your combination, step out. Don't be there for the clinch uh, if that's not where you want to be. So we're about to get ready for round number two. Tim Davies and Emmanuel Fabry. Three by two full tie rules here at Warriors Way. Been a great night of fight so far. And we've got plenty more for you on offer later. And don't forget our title fight. Now the main event of the evening, Indigo Boyd taking on Chris Nguyen. And also Alexi Petrulios making his return to Warriors Way up against Ben Lucas of the Riddlers Gym. They've got a few on the card tonight. Always producing quality talent out there in WA. Here you see both fighters back in the clinch and back in the corner. That seems to be the tale of the fight for these boys this evening. Tim's got a little bit of a height advantage, but Richard looks... Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Emmanuel looks absolutely chiseled out of stone. Well, the guys are looking to, to work in the clinch. You'll notice for the uninitiated, they get in the clinch, they hook their arms in, and they look for those scoring knees. Depending on the judges, some judges will score knees higher than punches. Um, in fact, we've got uh, two Thai... Uh, backgrounded judges here tonight, Dibba Jeb. So they like to see the guys in the clinch and working those knees. And uh, then the, you'll have the other judges that may be favouring the, the, the solid boxing and kicking combinations, more kickboxing style favourite, favourites. So uh, sometimes uh, when the judges are looking at these fights, it does depend on, on how they, I suppose, they angle their scoring. Move back into the middle of the ring. Very subjective in my mind, but uh, I like to see a fighter being aggressive and busy. Of course, takedowns always score well. Tim's throwing some good left-right combinations, trying to keep the distance. Doesn't want to get stuck in that clinch. Just coming forward with one, two, barreling forward with Timmy Davies. In yep. the red shorts from Smack Jim. Emmanuel Fabry in the blue shorts from Dominance. Also looking forward to uh, the return of Corey Baz. Barrett tonight from the East Gym taking on Leo Nguyen. That's just uh, before uh, Ramesh Habib also returning from the four-man eliminator last time out at Warriors Way. Yep, uh, yep, our four-man eliminator champion, Ramesh Habib. And uh, been doing a lot of work with Ramesh lately. He's been helping me out with the uh, River Daz in uh, preparing for glory and so forth. But uh, back to the corners we go as they reset their charges. So we get set for the final round here, three by two, full tie rules. Tim Davies and Emmanuel Fabry. This is the third and final round. Here at Warriors Way 23. I hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Steve White, Mike the Hammer, Castanini, and Nick Mara with you ringside. And a big thank you uh, to Rob Kay and Ferg from Gasoline Alley. You know, these guys are in Queensland coming down and sponsoring a Melbourne promotion. You know, they're not based in the state, but uh, they love their Thai boxing. And uh, if you are watching this show, from the sunny state of Queensland, and you're looking for a Harley or even any advice on getting a Harley Davidson or any bike indeed, talk to the boys at Gasoline Alley. Uh, they're a wealth of knowledge. Anything you need, new bikes, used bikes, spare parts, the boys at Gasoline Alley are your go-to men. I'm after a new set of eight bars, even though I'm only five foot seven. Eight so. <laughs> bangers, want some eight bangers? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just love watching you try and put your feet on the ground at the lights. I'm standing on the seat, John. <laughs> The boys in the third and final. It's a close affair, this one. Big round kick there from Emmanuel. Lock straight into the body lock. Boys from Smack Jim 
calling out for uh, for Tim to, to get busy in this third fight. It's a close affair, gentlemen. Yeah, certainly Timothy needs to do something to really convince the judges that he's going to take this out. Emmanuel's just showing so much power and a fair bit of dominance here in the uh, in the clinch, which has been the story of the fight for most of the night. Tim trying to get a bit of space. Emmanuel exploiting that space with those knees. It's a bit of a contrast from the earlier fights, which has been which have been fought at range, and yeah. of course that, those rangey fights always uh, exciting. So this one here is a bit of a slow burn with both boys looking to grind away and bang the body with those uh, those sharp knees. Big round kick from Emmanuel. Tim answers with uh, some sharp hand combinations in turn. Again, they get into that clinch, start to look to those knees banging to the body. And still scoring by all means, yep. but uh, certainly not looking for that knockout as we saw previously this evening here at Warriors Way 23. Locking the clinch on tight is Emmanuel trying to control the body and the head of Tim. There it is. This one going to the judges. How did you score it at home? A close affair, whatever way you see it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of full tie rules, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous points decision. Your winner, and still undefeated, Manu Fabri. Well, Manu Fabri receives the trophy from Arthur Eview Real Estate. We thank them for their sponsorship of the fight. He gets the win here at Warriors Way 23. And we'll be back with more just after this. Jim and Troy Treadway, everlasting Jim, about to get set here at 69 kgs. Three by two minute rounds, full tie rule. This one brought to you by Loba. We want to thank our friends from Loba, perfect timber floors. If you're in the market, get out and see them. These boys straight into it, trading blows. Well, hopefully none of these guys will hit the floor in this one. No. They'll mix it up and uh, keep the, the pack crowd uh, entertained. And uh, geez, it's been a great atmosphere tonight, if I do say so myself. I've been some great fights already and some great fights to come. Don't make, don't forget to stick around. Sam Hemming up next against Twang Pham. And we've got Corey Baz Barrett making his return to Warriors Way up against Leo Nguyen after that. So a plenty to stick around for here at Warriors Way. Semi-main event, of course, uh, Alexia Petrolius and Ben Lucas. Australia versus UK. Benny Lucas from the UK. He's fought extensively over, over 30 fights in, uh, in England, Scotland, and uh, all over the U uh, European nation. Is, uh, Stepping in to take on, well, one of uh, Australia's, uh, you know, real solid campaigners, Alexi Petrullius. Big things coming for him. And the main event, Indigo Boyd, Chris Newen, fighting for the World Muay Thai Council strap. The WMC Pro, Pro State title on the line for that one. Indigo and Chris Newen, they're, uh, they're both well prepared and I'm um, so impressed at the professionalism of these two men coming into this fight. They're, uh, they've certainly trained uh, the gym, you know, Train, train the walls down at the gym and uh, I've never seen two fighters more ready so get ready for our for our main events coming up a little bit later on a big thank you to Mark Abbott Castaneda for putting together this, fa this famous fight show here in Australia Warriors Way we can see Robert Wiley and Troy Treadway in the middle of the ring here trading blows and just measuring the distance across for each other Robert's got a little bit of a height advantage on Troy and right. down goes down. there it goes Robert Troy Treadway with, from uh, the blue corner with the blue shorts, of course. Trained by Andrew Steen out there in Geelong. So, uh, Andrew, always a great supporter Lesson of Warriors Way. So, uh, thank you, Andrew, for once again uh, getting around the show. And in the red corner, of course, the boys from Morricot Gym, Rob Wiley. Jason uh, Castro unable to be here. They're all up in the Nationals on the, on the sunny Gold Coast. And I've got to make... Uh, I've got to make note of, uh, of a very commendable effort from Darren riddler Reese. He was on the Gold Coast earlier today for the Nationals. Jumped on a plane, 6 p.m., comes straight to the venue. He's out the back now, strapping up the hands of Ben Cant and Ben Lucas. Then he's back on the plane at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning to be back on the Gold Coast 
on Sunday for the finals of, uh, of the Nationals up there. So, uh, geez, what a dedicated uh, yeah. man and coach he is. He's a decent frequent flyer, Miles. So he's, he's, loving, he's loving air travel, <laughs> the Riddler. But, uh, it's, it's lucky he's not six foot four, six foot three, because then he'd be hating it. Yeah. He just fits in nicely into those seats. Perfectly built for air travel, the Riddler. Are you speaking from uh, experience there, Emma? <laughs> but they're back at the centre ring now. The boys training some big body kicks. Of course, you'd expect nothing less from the crew from the Morricot Jim, Rob Wiley. Very, very solid Thai stylists, as in they like to kick the body, they like to get in the clinch. Um, in turn, you've got Troy Treadway from Everlasting Jim. Off Andrew Steen's style of training, more freestyle, more f uh, free flowing. So, a little bit of a contrast, but nevertheless, it's uh, turned into a great even matchup. This one, some fantastic grappling here. You can see that the guys are just battling way to try and get dominance in the clinch. There, they'll separate back into the middle of the ring and. Uh, Wiley trying to find a home for that uh, right body kick. The treadway's been, uh, as he goes now, switches it up, switches stance, goes to the left. So both fighters go to the centre of the ring. And, uh, well, I don't, know, I don't know on the judges' score about how I'd score this. The first round was pretty even. I think I'd give treadway the slight edge. So right now it's a, it's a battle of inches and a bit of a grind in the clinch. Again, there's Wiley now trying to work the knees. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm really impressed by how measured both of these fighters are. They're really calm. Both of them, you know, have got the skills, the training, they've got the pedigree, but they're just prepared to, like you said, grind it out. Try to do uh, try to let a downward elbow fly on the inside That's there. Round Tre number two. Uh, Wiley. Wiley. Treadway. Just breathing a little bit hard, but uh, nevertheless, both fighters are still looking pretty fit. So we're set for round number three. Three by two full tie rules. Rob this Wiley and Troy Treadway. Final round. And uh, we'll see if this goes the distance or there'll be a stoppage. But uh, both fighters very composed as uh, Wiley goes high to start the round. Great show of respect there. Big hug before they get into it. But not ready to take any prisoners. Nice push kicks and round kick. Using that lead leg well is that was Wiley. Troy's trying the boxing while Wiley's trying the kicking. Great matchup of styles here, Warriors way. Both fighters know they need to take everything they've got out of every tool out of the tool bag and leave it here in the ring. Once again, we'll talk a little bit about the scoring. So if one fighter's throwing punches and the other one's throwing more kicks, as I said, Thai style judging will always favor the kicks. And it comes into the clinching and the knees. It's uh, it's dominance in the clinch. Who's who's throwing? The, I suppose the harder knees, the uh, the more cl clinical uh, in the clinch and scoring cleanly once they clinch up. So the judges are, are going to be uh, keeping a very close eye on those close tactics when the boys get on the inside and on the outside. They're going to be looking for the shots. I suppose with the baddest intent, with the more power and with the most accuracy. Wise words from Mark Hammer Castaneda. Back in the center of the ring. Nice push kick. Oh, pitch, was pitch right there. there from, right on the button there from Wiley. Well, Wiley looking uh, for the big finisher with the right hand, but the danger with that is if he's not kicking and he's punching too much and not kicking enough, if it does go to the score cards, it could go against him. Unless he can get that KO finisher that we saw earlier. Um, we saw you know, that was always going to be the tactic with Richard Vitale, like try and uh, get the KO. Because if it comes to a kick and clinch fight against a taller fighter, you always got your, your, your work cut out for you. That's it, Fatale wanting the fatality earlier tonight, and he managed to take it away. Back, back into the clinch here again, both fighters just grinding out these knees. Mortal Kombat 11 just came out, mate. <laughs> there goes my next three months. <laughs> and there goes three rounds of action. And well, to the judges' scorecard we go. Robert Wiley and Troy Treadway. We'll see who takes this one out. A pretty entertaining go out here at Warriors Way 23. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. We have a split points decision. Your first judge scored the contest 30 28 to Treadway. Your second judge scored the contest 29 28 to Wiley. Your third and deciding judge scored the contest 29 28, declaring him in a high split points decision. Red corner, Robert Wiley. So Morricot Jim's Robert Wiley takes this one by split decision. This one brought to you by Loba, and he'll be celebrating that one long into the evening. So 
So we're about to get ready for action here. Sam Hemming and Twang Pham about to get going. Three by two full-time rules. One. This one brought to you by Edon Electrical. Go and see them for all your electrical needs. This should be an electric contest, Nick. I'll tell you what, Stephen, I'm really excited about this. I've gotten to see Sam and Pham fight uh, not against each other, but individually many, many times. I've always been impressed by both of them. Really excited by this matchup. Sam coming out of Hammer's gym, just a consummate fighter, and Fan being trained by Marshall Spirit. There he goes. Nice to catch it. Take down. That's going to score very well. As uh, Hammer was mentioning earlier, you know, it's those traditional tie capabilities and, and uh, moves that uh, score well in a bout. Sam, uh, quite a few outings on uh, Warrior's way so far. As he comes forward and lands pretty cleanly there on the chin of Chuang Fam. Marshall Spirit crew over there in Brunswick West. But, uh, I said plenty of uh, talent in terms of the Hammers, Jim. We've already had Richard Fadalek on this evening. River Daz obviously gone on to bigger and better things after uh, being a so dominant, uh, not just on uh, Warriors Way, but Bellion and all the other shows. A great, exciting young Muay Thai talent. I mean, River's just fantastic. You know, he really is a world-class uh, competitor and, and fighter, and you can see that in him going to, to glory. You look at the fighters here, though, in the center of the ring, and Sam is just moving laterally so well. His action is uh, is right on point. His movement is just a little bit better than Fam's. Fam sort of seems a little bit unsure. And he's connecting well when he's coming forward with the, with the hands. We have just saw that combination again. That one wasn't far away. Fam on the defensive so far in this fight. Beautiful low kick there from him. Nice oh, catch beautiful. and dump. And there you go. So that's twice now that Sam's managed to time it absolutely perfectly to end up with Fan on the ground. Of course, there was a third attempt earlier in this uh, this bout, but um, two takedowns already, two sweeps. And there goes a third, Steve. I can't believe it. How one. dominant is Sam been in this first round? Three kitchen cat, one right on the bell too. I mean, he's controlled this fight from the beginning. And uh, Trey Fam's going to have to work hard to get back into this one. The Steve, beautiful kick, but caught and again, perfectly timed to stretch him with that short, sharp punch. And there it is. That's been the tail of the fight so far. I mean, Sam's timing is just absolutely impeccable, Stephen. We saw the Superman punch. That wasn't far away. He mixes things up, and again, we saw a catch and dump. Just, just the, the understanding of range. That one was the best of the fight, right on the bell. As we get set for round number two, Sam Hemming, Twang Fam, doing battle at 64 kilos. Eat on Electrical bringing you this fight. And we've got to thank some of our other round sponsors, uh, CCM Insurance Group, at Nutrition Pantry, and TKD Denim. Best uh, riding jeans in the business. Sam moving straight into dominating is really pouring the pressure on with Pham. And when we did go to the end of that first round, Stephen, I noticed that Pham was breathing quite heavily. I don't know if maybe something's hurt, but um, it's good to see that he's still fighting and still coming forward. Not quite quick enough, though. It's a bright bird whistle. From watchful gaze, watches on. And, uh, just want to slow down a little bit here in the second, but uh, we're feeling our process again, looking for that kick, catch and dump. Beautiful push kick there. And again, overhand right there from Hemi. Nice, Chop, nice low, low, yeah, yeah. beautiful low kicks from both fighters there. Fam now, his turn to come forward. Nice Just a body kick from Fam. Maybe he's finding himself, maybe he's finding his range and his rhythm. He's certainly got a bit of ground to make up, but he certainly has the skills to do it. Nice overhand right there from Hemming. So don't forget Ramesh Habib will be back on the card this evening. Three by three full titles. He'll be up against Ben Kant. Also making his return to Warriors weight. The two guys that uh, we love seeing fight. Nice left right there from Fam. Low kick chopping there from Hemming. Fam just seems... Like a little hesitant to come forward. I mean, Hemming's been more aggressive, easily the more aggressive. You look at the, the left leg there of Fam, it's, it's, it's welded up. It's so red, redder than you uh, took the words out of my mouth. Fam shorts at the moment. And again, just uh, keeping that distance. Nice body kick there from Fam. He needs to be careful. They've been caught. He's been taken down quite a few times. A couple of left rights, but connecting there. Big right hand from Fam. Oh, look at the spinning back fist, but uh, taken on the gloves. 
spinning elbow over. Back in the round number corrected. two. And uh, well, round number two in the books for Trang Fam. I think uh, he was, did a lot better in that round. I still think uh, Sam's probably the more aggressive of the two. Here Take a look at the replay. There's that kick, doesn't quite connect with the body. And I'll tell you what, Heming punished him for that with that beautiful left hook. Beautiful push kick there from Heming. And there you have it, Heming's just got him backed up on the defensive. That seems to be the tail of the fight so far and a failed reversed elbow. They see Rivadaz and Mark the Hammer Castanini in the corner. Oh, Sam's game, he's ready for this. Bring this third and final round on two minutes between now and the judges, and Hemming comes out of the gate swinging. Pouring on the power is Hemming. Fam's trying to find range. Oh, Sam rocked a little bit there. Fam coming forward now. But uh, Hemming regains his feet. It looks to be okay. Fam switching it up now, chopping to the outside of that left leg. Hemming caught that, but didn't get the takedown as earlier in the fight. His eyes are clear, coming forward, throwing some good leather. Not a lot of power there in that right kick from Fan. Beautiful chopping low kick there from Hemming. Get about a minute left now in this uh, third and final round. And again, looking to finish that takedown. Uh, to Fan wiser to it this time. He's been taken down several times with that. And uh, coming through now, there is Fan, but uh, that was a little just off center. And again, I'm really impressed by the lateral movement that Hemming keeps showing. He moves in, and then it's left or right to get out of the range of Fam. I mean, I'm intrigued that Fam's continue to, to, to kick high, or to kick to the body, because Hemming's read it just about every time, and to scored to great effect with it. And again, looking for that spinning elbow. That one was taken on the gloves. The crowd's absolutely electric here tonight, yeah. Steve. Oh, I, why wouldn't they be? It's a fantastic night of fights, and Sam Hemming and Trunk Fam pouring it on here. And uh, there's another takedown. That's surely that's got to conclusive, doesn't it? First round was all Hemming, second round, yep, maybe it was a little bit even, but Hemming getting the takedown yet again. Just the, the control of range from Sam Hemming in this fight's been ex exceptional. Trank Pham, though, standing right in front of him. Again, goes for that body kick, manages to stay on his feet this time. Pham now coming forward. Beautiful left, and a right there from Pham. Uh, from Fam wasn't far away with that left wall. We're going to go to the judges' scorecard. Both guys pretty play well. Why wouldn't you be? What an exciting fight. And uh, Sam Hemming, well, he seems confident that he's done enough. And, uh, hard to disagree, particularly that first round and the third. So we have a look at the replay here. Got him up against the ropes. Just throwing great leather. See, there was a short little left there that uh, got him off guard. But he was straight back up onto his feet. There was no count. It was just that, that, that elbow on the exit there. And then managed to take most of that follow-up body kick on the on the chest. Struggling to uh, get that take down. Reverse spinning fist. Doesn't quite connect. And then nearly caught it again there, Steven. And there was a couple of times that Fan tried that reverse spinning elbow. Never quite made it, unfortunately. And there we go, that was the story of the night. Hemming just perfectly timing against Fam. And great show of respect. I mean, both fighters so Ladies happy. Ladies and themselves. gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. We have a split points decision. Your first judge scored the contest 29 28 to Fam. Your second judge scored the contest 29 28 Hemming. Your third and deciding judge scored the contest 29, 28, declaring you in a via split points decision. Blue corner, Wang Fam. Wang Fam takes that one. Interesting uh, result there in a split decision. This one brought to you by Eat on Electrical. We'll have more Warriors Way right after this. So we get set for the broomstick. Corey Baz Barrett out of the Beast Gym taking on Leo Newen. Man, I love watching Corey Baz fight. One of my favourite fighters here at Warriors Way. This one brought to you by Hunky Dory. 
Burwood East. We thank Evan and the crew out there, best fish and chips in Melbourne as uh, Mark the Hammer Castanini rejoins us ringside after that fight. Well, I nearly had to make a detour by the judges' table after that last <laughs> fight because, wow, we, if, uh, if I didn't get ripped, I don't know what happened there. I think but, we need uh, the yeah, anyway. OPSM or Strix Savers yeah. to sponsor no, us, baby. No, no one can ever say that uh, fighting on Warriors Way, you, you've got a, even a chance of winning any fight or losing any fight. So, uh, yeah, they, I'm still so proud of my, uh, my boy, Sammy Hemming. The boy's had a tough six months. But uh, train the house down, and uh, I think for all you guys who watched that last fight at home, with well, their eyes, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> so, and weren't distracted perhaps by other things, uh, you would have seen who won that one. Um, certainly, uh, I'm proud of, uh, of Sammy Hemming for what he's done. But uh, nevertheless, we move on. <laughs> I'm a little slightly, slightly peed off. <laughs> Just slightly, and slightly peed off. That's the small. That's the <laughs> short version. <laughs> <laughs> There's a profanity exchange, exchange ringside earlier. So, uh, but mind. nevertheless, that's the action in centre ring now. Corey Baz. Well, he's one of my favourite people in the sport. Let me tell you. Up against uh, Leo Newen. Leo from the pit. The pit never quit. That's WA. It. Blair Smith has made uh, the long-awaited. Uh, front up on Warriors Way, and uh, what a champion bloke he is, Blair. We've spent some good time together uh, leading up to this one with uh, my good friend Nugget McNaught. So uh, Nugget and Blair and I have had some interesting conversations, but Leo is the, is the big inside here. What a tough boy he is. And you know what, gentlemen? I have to search far and wide to find someone to fight Corey Baz. Yep. <laughs> no one wants to fight this bloke in the red shorts, let me tell you. No one wants to fight him. Leo said I'll do it. They're no, really appreciative of that. Well, that's, that's just a testament to the pit, right? Uh, the, I mean, the pit. I said, what do you know about Corey? They're nothing. <laughs> that's it. What do you want? <laughs> if you watch any of Corey's fights, no. What for? <laughs> We're just coming to fight. I love it. Uh, I mean, Blair could have actually cornered from <laughs> Perth. That's how loud he is when he's in the corner. But he made the trip out here, which is a great testament yeah, so to all the, all the boys from the pit, uh, geez, they just come to fight. And, uh, you know, they always have red hot cracks. So, big thank you to the guys out of the blue corner. And of course, the Beast Gym, Johnny Bowman and the team, Stewie, all the boys, uh, what champions they are, and all the people ringside that come and support Beast Gym. They really make Warriors Way the, the show and the atmosphere that it is. And, uh, you know, great supporters ringside, very respectful for all that step in and uh, makes the night what it is. So thank you to everyone, uh, uh, all associated with this fight. Really impressed by the technique of both of these fighters here, gentlemen. I mean, it's, they're just training blow for blow and um, there's been some beautiful low, low kicks and those step through elbows that Corey's throwing at Leo. He hasn't managed to really uh, pin him yet, but they've been great. And just a special mention to Clint Housen, who also helped to make this fight happen. So a big uh, thank you and cheers to Clint uh, from the pit. So we take a look at the replay, that action-packed first round between Corey Baz and Leo Newen. Nice combination there coming in under there was Newen finding the uppercut. But uh, Corey Baz as tough as they come. And uh, he answered in kind, Leo Newen bringing some great energy here in this first round. As I said, Leo, tough as you like. Now he's got a real, just a little insight into Leo. He's a bit of a coffee connoisseur. So when I said oh. to him, what are you going to do in Melbourne? He goes, I just want to get around and have a look at, you know, some roasting houses and stuff like that. So there, there you go. TIE fighter by night, coffee connoisseur by the day, <laughs> like most of us in the morning. I can sense one of the Melbourne gyms trying to poach him. Very great, great selling point. <laughs> Apparently he's quite a, quite a good barista. This good old Leo in the blue corner. Really Corey true. Baz, will, he'll have a coffee or a beer. He doesn't mind either way. Or it's both at the same time. <laughs> one, in, yeah. one in each hand, Baz. Yeah, yeah. Or if Leo made a bad coffee, nobody would be prepared to complain about it, right? <laughs> but uh, having a look at Corey, just locking that clinch on the Leo. And this is probably where Leo doesn't want to be. Corey probably underestimated as a, as a clincher. Is uh, A lot of people underestimate Corey Baz. And... Or well, maybe they don't, which is why he's so hard to match. Nevertheless, he's, uh, he's had some, some good success on Warriors Way. I think he really rallies because of the crowd support here for him. And the crowd really is electric here tonight. Warriors Way 23, completely sold, sold out at Doncaster Shopping Town Hotel. A big thank you to Hunky Dory. Fantastic fish and chips, really fresh, really clean flavours. A big thank you to definitely uh, Evan Thamlarkis. And Evan, indeed, a fighter in his own, in his own right. If you go down to Huggy Dory, Burwood East, and you see Evan there, say good day. 
and uh, geez, what he, kickboxing, boxing, he's done it all. And uh, his brother Nick Timlakis as well, uh, still currently 40 years of old and 40 years of age, and still out there boxing on the circuit. Timlakis, and uh, the, and the great, the great man. Sorry, I've got to went to mention one more person, the great Chris Chrysopolides, the giant slayer himself, sitting ringside. So uh, big Chris Chrysopolides, formerly from uh, well, from the Ultimate Gym. A big shout out to Johnny Sheeter as well on the team, as uh, Leo gets a count. And a little bit of a controversial one yeah. because they're saying his foot was through the ropes. Yeah. So Leo, a little bit bemused why he got the count there. So maybe an oversight on that one. As the action continues, and Leo fired up after that. He's swinging for the fences here at Corey Barrett. Both men standing toe to toe, but Leo on the attack. It looks like uh, Corey's uh, worn the worst of it. And as they clinch, nice elbow on the exit there from Nguyen. Man. Certainly he got caught there, didn't he, Stephen? I mean, oh, there he goes again, big shot. right hand again. Leo's really starting to punish Corey with those uh, right hands. But back into the clinch, and Corey does have the height advantage in the clinch. Corey. Downward elbow, stepping downward elbow from Baz. But geez, uh, he, he'll be no stranger to standing there trading punches. The likes of uh, Ray Dematchik and E-Man and, of course, Indigo Boyd. You know, Beast Gym are renowned for being a good boxing gym and putting a lot of pro pro boxers on the circuit. So Corey will be in there mixing it up with the hands. And he's, he's really proficient in the clinch as he's demonstrating right now, Corey Baz. But, geez, Leo, a little bit peeved. Oh, the oh. downward elbow from Baz. Looking to take the ear off, Leo. Wasn't well, far away with that crossing elbow either. Just boxing from the outside now, Corey Bass. Sticky jab, setting that right hand. Leo chopping down low. Hectic work rate in this one, gentlemen. Absolutely, and well, that's the end of round number two. And well, we got another round to go. Both men leaving nothing in the tank. Well, then we'll see the uh, the replay on what happened with the foot there going through the ropes of Leo Newman just before he got that count. count. Here we go, the replay. Beautiful upward elbow. Low kick there from Corey. Beautiful push kick. And look at that elbow yeah, you on your right. The, you can see the foot right down. Uh, the foot out of the ropes there. And uh, Bryce Burt whistled blindsided. Didn't see it. So thought Leo was covering up in self-preservation. Indeed, he was covering up because his leg was stuck. And the irony of this is I had a loss uh, many years ago when I was training with Bryce. And it was exactly because of that. Because the ref didn't see my leg was through the rope. And I stopped throwing. So uh, it was the only loss I had. <laughs> and that was because of that same exact technique. So... Third and final round here at Warriors Way 23. Corey Baz, Leo Nguyen. We've seen some big leather throw. We've seen some big punches, some big kicks. Corey got rocked, although um, Corey's managed to take Leo down. And uh, there was also that standing eight count. So really, both fighters need to leave absolutely everything in the ring here tonight at Warriors Way. Well, you've got to say, the judges will, will have to count that, that standing eight count, which is a bit devastating for Leo because... It's a lot closer than that. Yeah, you know, that, yeah. that eight count probably, I don't know, wasn't warranted, but he had his leg stuck through the ropes. Bryce, unfortunately, was blindsided, didn't see it. Um, so now Leo has really got a massive uphill battle to get back in this one. And look, he's shown that he's got the technique and the power to really clock uh, Corey. He managed to catch him in the second round. Can he do it? Can he take out the KO? I mean, he's going to have to be very, very tough to KO Corey Baz here from Beast Gym. And so Corey, obviously, last time Warriors weigh 22, defeated Nanakit Pakawan, round four, knockout. So he's uh, coming in hot. But he's coming off a loss as well. He's yeah. had that loss uh, on Rebellion. So yeah. it was a win a win, and then a loss for Corey Baz. And it was a, a, was a pretty solid loss that he had on Rebellion. So uh, he's looking to redeem himself here, yeah. the man in the red shorts. In turn, Leo is uh, getting uh, you know very appreciative of uh, getting the trip over to the uh, to Victoria to be on the on the show so he told me he was going to you know step up and make it a war and he's certainly doing that it looks uh, unfortunate though however that that uh, that it, sort of that eight count uh, perhaps could could be uh, not so favorable for him on the scorecards yeah. may bring his demise but nevertheless an even fight and take that eight count out
Yeah. It's still yeah. maybe just a little bit the way, obviously, of Corey, because he is he is keeping uh, the scoring shots working clean. That's it. But so, I'm really impressed with Leo. I mean, he's taken absolutely every single shot that Corey's managed to throw at him, and he's still coming forward, still throwing great technique. And he's from the pit, so he's not going to quit. That's it. You know that. <laughs> Big right hand, left, right, left, right from Leo. And again, Corey. And again big thanks to uh, to Blair and uh, Clint House and um, so for making this possible and uh, Leo just for stepping in and being the ballsy fighter that he's been up to this point. Big knee from Corey Baz, just giving it all. Again, he goes with that push kick. The crowd is absolutely electric here. They cannot keep him quiet. Every single fight's been a barn burner this evening. We've had knockouts, we've had grind outs, and here we have two very highly trained warriors here at Warriors Way in the middle of the ring. Who's going to take it out? Maybe Leo has the opportunity, has the chance. And a Corey Badlett, a step up elbow. He's used those downward elbows to step up elbows, causing a bit of trouble there for Leo. But uh, Leo tough as nails. And again to the clinch, beautiful knee. There is Corey now, so maybe sensing the momentum a little bit in his favour. But uh, the bell beats both of them. And to the judges' scorecard, we will go. What a fight! Well, what a strong, strong finish from Corey Barrett. Barrett, and have a look at that big crowd support for him. Corey Baz is loving it. And take away the, the eight count, okay? Wasn't probably justified, but nevertheless, you'd still have to say that Corey just landed more scoring shots. Was uh, was pretty solid in the clinch. So uh, taking that out. Nevertheless, look at that step through knee, downward elbow, active on the outside, strong on the inside, Corey Barrett, but you can't deny the heart of Leo Newen. Leo, what a tough campaign. I'd love to have him back on the show again. Indeed, Corey, always a crowd favourite. Elbow Short there. elbow on the inside, just mixing up levels, mixing up technique. What a great uh, showmanship. Ladies and gentlemen, after three Barrett. rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. All three judges got the contest 29 28, declaring winner via unanimous points decision. Red corner, Corey Broomstick Barrett. So, Corey the Broomstick Barrett gets. The decision, and he gets the trophy there from Evan, from Hunky Dory, and we thank them for their sponsorship. We'll be back right after this. Habib and Ben Cant clashing here, 64 kgs, three by three minute rounds, full tie rules. This one brought to you by Block Auction. We thank Scott and Block Constructions, excuse me. We thank uh, Scott and the crew out there for their continued support of Warriors Weight here at Warriors Weight 23, Hammer. Well, off to a hectic pace already, yeah. this one. Of course, Ramesh Habib, last Warriors Way, winning that four-man eliminator, but the, ben, the man, Benny Cant, Benny had a five-round uh, war with River Daz, which is what got him the invite back. And I thought, why not? Two, uh, two of the best in this division. Of course, Benny Cant from Riddler's Gym, Ramesh Abib from uh, fight out, training out of Fighting Fit Packingham. And also, uh, he's been doing some uh, solid rounds with uh, River Daz, is well prepped for this one. And I also had Ben Cant brought him over for fight camp with River in his preparation for glory. So these guys, for me, so close but uh, Ramesh on the outside is so dangerous with those legs. Benny Cant, let me tell you, in the clinch, one of the strongest guys I've ever clinched in this weight division. He's, even with me, he hangs in me. I'm 100 kilo, and that kick can grapple me, let me tell you. So Ramesh is going to have a hard day at the office if he gets in and clinches with Ben Cant. But of course, Ramesh is known as the headhunter. Beautiful kicks there from Ramesh. Both fighters just teasing each other out. Cant so strong. Benny Cant just strong, just coming forward. No one need, he needs to keep this one on the inside and just work that clinch that he's renowned for. But Ramesh uh, holding his own in the clinch now, Steve. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, he had a big year last year too. Ramesh, I mean, won the Eliminator, win over Brandon Spain, 
and you know had a, I think he welcomed his uh, child into the world. And coming off a win against uh, Alexi, a close fought win against Alexi Petrulius on Rebellion as well. Absolutely. So Ramesh is certainly uh, doing it well at the moment. As uh, he looks for the ascendancy here, goes uh, to the body, but trading them there with Kant. Always impressed by how calm Ramesh looks. Beautiful straight left there from Kant. Managing to land. Beautiful body kick there for Ramesh and a low kick from Kant the to thing return. With, the thing with Ramesh is he can kick you in the head from punching range. Yep. So when you think, oh, I was too close to kick you, bang, he just whips that shin up to the head. So, uh, you know, he's very deceptive in that way. And uh, certainly Ben needs to keep his hands up and his guard tight and get into that clinch because that's going to be a strong point for him. Again, goes high as Ramesh, then chops low. Beautiful mix-ups. Yeah. He's catching the kick well, though, Ben Kant, just on the gloves. He's got his gloves nice and high where they need to be. Of course, Revolt sponsoring said gloves here. We thank them for their sponsorship here at Warriors Way again. Oh, 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 oh he's done. Oh. He's got it. Oh, the hat kick. And that could be it. It's all over. Yes. Ben Kant is absolutely gone to sleep on the canvas here at Warriors Way. And Ramesh Habib, the headhunter, he has a moniker for a reason because he is the headhunter. What an amazing show of timing and force there from Ramesh. Nothing more exciting than a head kick KO and certainly Ramesh Habib had delivered. Man, he pulls this out of the holster. Bang, there's the right. Senses it. Yeah, it was the right that certainly did the damage and then just finished it off with that high head kick. But the right hand, bang, oh. just, just twisted the neck. That really is what did the damage and then up went the round kick. And that was a finisher in what was looking to be an epic battle. Stop. He just got caught with that punch. And there was a kick. Good night, Irene, in the words of Mr. Chevello. Oh. Well, what a, what a big KO finish Ladies for Ramesh. And jeez, isn't he riding the high one. wave of victory this at this point? Ended, declaring your winner by knockout, Ramesh, the headhunter, Happy! The headhunter with another headshot. Knockout, he gets the victory. And thanks to Scott from Block Constructions. And he takes home the silverware, well, the goldware in this case. See, you ain't what you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You better this is than that. want to take a piece. Come in. Oh man, am I looking forward to this one. <laughs> ben Lucas Alexi and Alexi Petrullius. Ben Lucas. Five by three, full tie rules here at Warriors Way. And oh man, this is going to be an absolute Red run. Line. Thanks to uh, Cafe Oji. Get down there and see them in Burwood. And Again tonight, we've got another East versus West matchup here, Stephen. Well, indeed, uh, Benny Lucas uh, from the UK, fresh off the boat. <laughs> and they're now working out at Riddler's Gym. Benny Lucas, a, a very established uh, UK fighter, uh, over 30 fights, and uh, was quietly confident uh, at the weigh-in, and, uh, you know, wasn't at all faced by Alexi's record or, uh, I suppose, Alexi's toughness, and, and thinks he's got, I suppose, the answer to, uh, to the, the mystery that is Alexi Petrullius. <laughs> the great. Yeah, the great Alexi. Alexi, of course, coming off... The close fought loss to Ramesh Habib, as we mentioned earlier. Yep. And just what a big finish that was from uh, Ramesh. Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, I suppose a good time to announce October 5th will be the next Warriors Way big show. Looking to make it Australia versus US USA. And uh, I, I'd like to announce uh, Ramesh again being on that show, potentially as a main event against a, a very, a very accomplished American fighter to be announced. Um, so big things ahead for Ramesh as he continues his winning ways and uh, more the fighters on tonight's card will hopefully front for that one. October 5th, Warriors Way, weekend after the AFL Grand Final. It's going to be a big show. So there you go, no. ladies and gentlemen. It's turned into an international affair. Have it bringing in fighters from uh, across the globe and even the USA. The we fighters just keep the fights just keep getting better at Warriors Way. Oh, well, we, we had Australia versus New Zealand a couple of Warriors ways ago, so it only makes sense we go up the Pacific. <laughs> Next, it'll be the UK and the yeah. Canadians. But uh, Alexi back at Warriors Way since uh, Warriors Way 20 when he uh, defeated Indigo Boyd, who, who will be on the pub card right up next. Yeah, well, Alexi, Alexi Indigo, 
they've all mixed it up yeah. with each other. The new the new man on the block in this weight division is Benny Lucas. Yeah. And of course, he's uh, no shortage of strong sparring partners at Riddler's Gym with uh, Darren and Kaylee, of course. And, uh, geez, what a what a powerhouse gym that is based in WA. So big thank you again, to Riddler's team, always so supportive of myself. Warriors way and, and indeed everybody uh, any Muay Thai shows you know someone's going to be popping up from Riddler's gym they've got such a, a big stable of fighters just like the pit I mean I don't know what they put in the water in Perth or <laughs> WA but well, geez, they're breeding some solid uh, Thai boxes 70% well, of it's desalinated so that must be the case <laughs> <laughs> must be the su success but uh, Lexi Petrullio says we saw it. Also due to fight to your Cal 39 in Sydney. Yep. Fight Sing Dam. Louis, Re Louis Regis putting on that big Yokal show. Yep. So keep an eye on that one. Uh, Louis Regis um, on Facebook has been quite active promoting that. Indeed, uh, Instagram, myself, Mark Hammer Castanini, and you guys uh, follow us on Instagram. And uh, there's a lot of stuff happening in the fight community that we like to share. So if you're on social media, Instagram or Facebook, check it out. Back to the, back to the end of the first round. <laughs> It's a feeling out process between the two guys. A lot of respect shown. But, uh, this one that we'll go, I'm sure will uh, heat up very shortly as we take a look at some of the replay. Of course, uh, for the purists, everyone asks me why I do the three rounders because I like them, they're fast and furious. But for the purists, we've gone five three minute rounds. So the first rounds are always the feeling out process. Alexi just trying to get his range, trying to see what Lucas has to offer. There's not a lot of footage on, uh, on Benny Lucas, not a lot to study out there. So, yeah, the, the fighters, the filling out process is done and it'll slowly heat up as we get, especially into the third round onwards. Second round, they're going to be testing range still, testing the clinch, just seeing what each has to offer. And that's what, that's what can be so exciting about a five round fight because it just, the momentum and the intensity builds so gradually, but eventually they're just absolutely firing off at each other. And, and you see beautiful spinning reverse kicked in quite land there from Petrullius. It's the big crescendos of the five, round, five rounders that, that people uh, hang out for. Of course, in Thailand, there's that, the Thai music that pit, picks up in pace and, yeah. and gets that atmosphere. Um, and, and because it's live, the, the band can sort of build with the fighters. But not so much of, of that happening, obviously, in Australia or, or overseas. So it's a lot of it's recorded, so it sort of has the same tempo. But in Thailand, the fighters do fight with a live accompaniment of the uh, the Thai music. But, uh, not something that Western society has really embraced. No. <laughs> no, no. We do have a stage here in Warriors Way tonight, though. Yeah. <laughs> stage is full of sponsors' tables. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'll put a band right in the middle of the sponsors. Perhaps if they did a house, <laughs> house remix or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we get the fluoros out, guys. A couple of glow sticks. We make our own version. Revolver sponsored by <laughs> new, new sponsors. But uh, Alexi and uh, Ben, pace has picked up a little bit. They're just looking for that, just for that little uh, opening there is uh, Alexi trying to close in and to unleash those elbows as he so often does. Ben Lucas from the UK via Riddler's Gym in the blue shorts. Alexi Petrullius from Eight Blades in the red, coming out of the red corner, of course. Beautiful catch nice there. Catch. Alexi just storms forward as he loves to do. He loves to get on the inside, smash away at the body with the knees, and then look to do the damage with the elbows if you give him a millimetre to get the arms through. But what a twist turn takedown. Benny Lucas doing it in fine style in the clinch. Wouldn't That's have... You don't often see that, nah, gentlemen. Nah, just when you thought he had him, he turns the tables on you. Again, the catch looking for the takedown. Good vertical base there from the UK, the UK man. Both fighters starting to really warm up here now. Could be anybody's fight. Don't blink, ladies and gentlemen. Look at uh, Alexi just plastering that glove up high on his right side. Just uh, very aware of that switch lead round kick from, uh, from Benny Lucas. So he's got his head covered for the head kick and he's ready to catch if the, if the kick comes to the body. So Alexi's still pushing forward. Yeah, nice body kick there from Petrullius. Lucas not using his, his reach as much as I thought he would, gentlemen. I thought he'd be popping, popping out the, uh, the push kick a lot more, yep. keeping the jab just really working straight down the middle, measuring that range, and then working off that. In, in turn, he's, he's opting to go for round techniques, those round kicks, which can be nullified quite easy by a shorter fighter. He can walk through that round kick and get in for the clinch. Yep. And like you said, Alexi likes to get it That's on the inside. Two. Is he going to pull out a few more tricks in this next coming round? We're here to see. 
So as we take a look at some of the action on the replay, we can see chopping low kick there from Benny Lucas and uh, Lexi they're trying to get on the inside. But uh, as he said, caught the kicks a couple of times and then try to follow up with those elbows, pressing forward. There he goes again, catching that, driving forward, ending in the elbow. If he gets one of those through, could be a that beautiful switch there from Lucas. Getting Alexi to the ground, just such a beautiful shoulder. Nice turn, yeah, yeah. nice turn takedown, textbook stuff from Ben Lucas. Like Cafe Oggi so, in Burwood. Round number three. Yeah, yeah. Three. it's Warriors Way 23. And this fight brought to you by Cafe Oggi. Get down and see them in Burwood. Let me say thank yeah. you to Peter. Yeah, yeah he's been, he's been uh, with Warriors Way from show number one. Such loyalty. Um, from uh, from a sponsor and, and a mate, so big thanks to uh, for Pete and the, the crew of Cafe Oggi, the best Italian food in Melbourne's east. Make a great margarita too. I will attest to that. I've been there a couple of times. <laughs> oh, the classic oh, Italian oh, margarita, <laughs> the drink, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> not the pizza. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, goes Alexi Alexi. again. Benny Lucas lost his own footing, but nevertheless, proficient in the clinch. And uh, geez, how good is he in the, in the grapple? You won't often see Alexi Petrullius taken down in the clinch. No. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that. High kick from Lucas, the switch high kick, which Alexi's been so guarded against. I'm really impressed that Alexi's catching those kicks, but he's not managing to convert them into takedowns. Yeah, just a strong vertical base. And that is, you know, I suppose the mark of experience of Ben Lucas. We saw it earlier on the card when fighters were getting their kicks caught, they were getting taken down. But as a, a fighter matures, they know a, a, a caught kick doesn't always result in a, in a takedown, especially uh, if, you're, if you're trained in that, you know, sort of negation to that technique. Both fighters looking very strong, both of them looking really fresh, well conditioned. Some good blows being traded. Nice low kick there from Petrullius. Just judging the time. Nice body kick and just misses that head kick that comes in from Lucas. Ben Lucas looks really comfortable on the counter. He does. Yeah. He, he, he counters really well. Alexi in turn is, is not, you don't often see it, but he's using angles well in this fight too. He's stepping off away from power side. He's, he's away from that switch lead. So Alexi is, uh, is giving Ben Lucas a fair bit of respect and uh, not making any, any silly mistakes here that could cost him the fight. Um, in turn, Lucas doing at this point, I suppose, just enough. He's, he's putting in the, in the, you know, the long range. He's done some nice takedowns. There's the takedown back now from Alexi, just the show of strength from him. So this one's so close. Step up elbow from Alexi. That's he's renowned for that. He likes to get on the inside, grind away with those big elbows. Looking, he's only one of few fighters that has calluses on the end of his elbows, <laughs> banging them out so much. Both fighters in the clinch here tonight. Lucas trying to get another reversal, try and take Alexi down, but Alexi breaks away. Actually, Alexi, they tried to switch, just didn't it? But uh, Lucas now, been better, probably controlling the center of the ring, and he got oh, a nice body rip there, right on the, almost just above the liver there from Lucas. This is such a great matchup of styles. And Lucas looks picking his shots a little bit more than Alexi. Alexi's bringing a lot more pressure, I find, so far in this fight. And that'll do it for round That's number three. Round number three. It's an intriguing fight we've got going on here. Yeah, I'm really happy with this matchup, actually. Both guys, you know, it's a great even matchup. So if we take a look at some of the replay, and again, Lucas not far away, but uh, he comes in there, beautiful counter right. And again, the switch on the clinch, saw it in the first round, saw it in the third. Just a sublime takedown. Nice body kick and returned. Takedown was nice, but Alexi thought, if I'm going down, you're coming with me too, yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're both going to have a close look at the canvas. <laughs> Maybe they can hit up Lover for a floor or two. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Alexi put everything into that takedown and managed to take it. Yeah, beautiful body lock twist takedown from Alexi Petrullius. So we take a look at the crowd in tonight. Absolutely packed here at the Doncaster Shopping Town Hotel. Thank them for all their support here at Warriors Way. Yeah, October 5, Warriors Way 24. Stay tuned for all your ticket details for that. And uh, as Pamela previously announced, Ramesh Habib will be on the card. There's that spectacular head kick knockout of Ben Kent just prior to this fight. Ow, jumping elbow. Step up elbow turned into a jumping. Elbow there from Alexi. 
Ramesh is so so uh, fresh after that last knockdown, I couldn't put him back on this card. <laughs> in, front of, uh, in front of after this fight. Tag team Muay Thai. Get, boy get, tie, get him to go again. Yeah. Get my money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> you can fight a four-man eliminator <laughs> twice. Why not? <laughs> Lots of action here tonight between this, this, for this battle of uh, supremacy here at Warriors Way. Alexi Petrullius against the Englishman, Mr. Benny Cant. Benny seems to be taking the sharper shots, the more measured shots, landing them more cleanly. But Alex, Alex is really continuing to apply the pressure, throwing a little bit more activity at Ben. But uh, Ben has just been so good in the clinch, man managing a few reversals. And the crowd's just electric here tonight. Well, Alexi Petrullius, you know, he's like the flu. Once he gets a hold of you, it just doesn't go away. It's just a, it's a human version of the man flu. Just stays with you. Just as debilitating. And he's just in there. Oh, look at him. There he goes. But Benny Lucas reaches for the tissues once again. We love you, Alexi. Don't take it personally. <laughs> Alexi's just there. You know, such resolve and mental strength, that's Alexi it. Petrullius. That's, that's, that really, you know, sets him apart from a lot of fighters because you can throw anything at him and he never shows any signs of weakness. No. He never, he never si shows signs of, of breaking down. And that in itself can... can uh, you know, the mental game comes a lot into it when you're a fighter. If you're throwing everything you've got at a fighter and he's still there and he's looking like he's going to keep coming at you, uh, it is, you know, it's that Thai moniker of you never show anything. And the harder you get hit, the less emotion you show. Uh, so that, that's where the psychology of it comes into the fight game. And Alexi Petrullius has certainly mastered that. In turn, Ben Lucas, he's been a revelation, the, the man from the UK. And uh, certainly, uh, I'm sure we'll see a lot more of him because he's, he's showcasing some fine skills in this battle. It's great to see him coming from such a long way away and just putting on such an amazing performance yeah, and as in I a said, foreign land. Yeah, not, not, not many people have seen Ben Lucas fight, and I'm sure you're going to see a lot more of him here in Australia now fighting uh, because of the effort he's put into this fight. Both fighters back into the clinch, which has been uh, quite common for the fight this evening. Although I'm really impressed. They've gone into the clinch and earlier in the fight, Benny was really having having his way with Alexi, but Alexi's really come on strong and, and managed to take control of the clinch of, of late. Nice low kick there from Benny. Petrullius hunting him down, resetting. Moving forward. Benny on the defensive. And we're gonna go to the next and final round. Superboy steps through the ropes to uh give Alexi some info as to what he wants. Take a look at some of the action on the replay. And again, another really intriguing fourth round in terms of strategy. With a downward stepping, downward elbow from Lucas. Turning heel kick from Alexi. Gets into the clinch. As I said, as soon as he gets into the clinch, he always looks for elbows, Alexi. Hanging on to that leg for dear life and uh, uprooting Benny Lucas, but not a clean takedown. Elbow for elbow, they go. So fifth and final round here, Alexi Petrullius and Ben Lucas here at uh, Warriors Way 23. We hope you've enjoyed all the action this evening. Don't forget, title fight to go, Indigo Boyd and Chris Joen as this uh, five, fifth and final round begins at the same pace. The fourth ended at a nice chopping low kick there from Lucas. Alexi showing some respect on that. Lucas looking to step across, actually, and attack the back leg. Um, switch switch kick to the back leg. So Lucas now figuring Alexi's lead leg is uh, pretty well conditioned. So looking to, to see if there's an opening on that rear thigh. At the activity levels, both fighters know they need to do something convincing. It's too close a fight so far. Both of them come out of the gate just absolutely firing for this final round. Alexi getting the early takedown in this round. So I wouldn't want to be a judge for this, guys. It's been a, it has been a close one all the way through, shot for shot. Good even match up this one. Oh, oh, big George. I think that was more of a slip, perhaps, there from Ben Luger. He's going to get counted. Oh, he's yeah. going to get counted. That's, that's, wow. that's going to make the difference, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Definitely. He's in disbelief, saying it was a slip. But uh, Mark Cook convinced uh, it was something, uh, obviously, it delivered looked... from Alexi that sent... Benny Lucas down. I'll tell you what, for, uh, maybe I'm, it's a hometown uh, prejudice, but I reckon that there was an elbow there, gents. I don't know if it landed cleanly, sure. but I could have I sworn that Alexi threw an elbow there. We'll have a close look at the replay on that one. And as I say that, Ben <laughs> sleeps quite obviously. <laughs> so looking to chop the legs 
of Alexi out, Ben Lucas. But uh, Alexi now just controlling distance well, switching off the lead. And they're letting it all go now, Ben Lucas, a man from the UK. Oh. Down with jumping elbow, Alexi Petrullius. Closing stages of this fight. And wow, what a, one it's been as uh, Alexi gets in and against the double unders and trying to finish the takedown. Oh, nice El elbow on the exit there from Lucas. Oh, and beautiful little sneaky takedown there from yeah. Alexi. Caught the low kick this time, so re reached low, caught the kick, the kick and uh, took the foot, the footing there, Ben Lucas. Alexi's happy to go into the clinch. He's been doing quite well. But that eight, that eight count, Nicholas, yeah. that Lucas would have got, that's going to be doing his head in right about that's now. It. It's, it's maintaining clarity after an eight count you think he's not justified that is a really hard thing to do if you think you've been ripped you know that negative thought gets into your process That's and it. then your strategy just can go straight out the window after it but lucas is doing his all to get it back that's a beautiful chopping low kick from lucas with petrullius coming forward oh, not far away with that right hand you can sense lucas now behind after we talked about that eight count he's uh, down to throw the kitchen sink at it here we go, seconds out. It's only a few seconds away from the end of this battle. Both fighters pouring everything on that they've got. Benny knows that he needs to make it back after that out, Kane. And I'll tell you what, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing display of technique from two highly trained warriors. Yeah, Lucas trying for that turning elbow in the final stages of that round, really reaching for the, uh, the show box techniques. But Alexi, just solid forward walking all the time. And, of course, the eight count has got it pretty much put it beyond doubt for the red corner, we'd say. We'll see it here on the replay in a sec, hopefully. Well, there's the elbow. Yeah, that was, was it. it. Yeah, it was a right hand, left step elbow. So let's have a look. He certainly came down hard on it. It looks pretty yeah. good to me. Yeah, it was a, it's a sort of step through. Looks like more of the forearm than the elbow. Yeah, it was a forearm, but yeah. it sort of hit him across the jaw, so yeah. I don't know. But uh, Lucas was pretty quick to his feet, though. Yeah. He wasn't wobbly, so yeah. who knows? Certainly, I wouldn't want either the uh, elbow or the forearm of Alexi Petrullius. Thank you very much. Taking that out, though, nevertheless, it was Alexi really pushing forward. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action in your semi-main event, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. Your first judge score the contest. 49-47 to Lucas. Your second judge score the contest. 48-46 Petrullius. Your third and deciding judge scored the contest, 49-46, declaring a winner via split points decision. Red corner, Alexander the Great Petrullius. Alexi Petrullius gets the win here at Warriors Way 23, gets the trophy there from Peter from Cafe Oggi. And we'll be back right after this with more Warriors Way. Don't go away. team at Gasoline Alley. Go to gasolinealleyhd.com.au. Ladies and gentlemen, both warriors have now entered the ring and this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Superboy out of eight plate warriors with an official weight of 61.15 kilograms. 25 fights, 18 wins, one draw. One win coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Maidstone, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Newen. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, trained by Johnny Bowman, out of the Beast Fight Club, with an official weight of 60.85 kilograms, a record of 26 fights, 16 wins, two draws, four wins coming via knockout, fighting out of Chelsea Heights. He is the ISKA Australian champion and the WKBF Commonwealth champion. He is the Beast Kid, Indigo Boy. 
Floyd! Okay, gentlemen, you're both aware of the rules. You have no questions. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. All right, touch them up. Oh, can't wait for this one. Our main event of the evening, Indigo Boyd and Chris Yuen. Five by three minute rounds, full tie rules. And this one's for the strap. And this one brought to you by Gasoline Alley, making this event and Warriors Way happen. We thank them for their sponsorship and their support here, Hammer. Yeah, Gasoline Alley based in Springwood, of course, in Brisbane. Queensland, so uh, if you're in the market for a Harley Davidson, uh, new, used, whatever, spare parts, whatever you want, a bit of advice. You just want to talk about <laughs> motorbikes. <laughs> you just, just want to kick a few tires. Just, right? just yeah. yeah, talk to uh, Rob Ferg and the, oh, and the team at Gasoline Alley, the champion blokes, and they love the fight game. And they support us, so we should support them. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have the main event of the evening. Indigo Boyd in the red. Chris Nguyen, two very well trained, very experienced fighters. And just, another fantastic matchup here, Hammer. Thank you. I've got to say, I've a huge amount of respect and appreciation for both of these young men. Indigo Boyd has been a real stalwart, a real regular on Warriors Way, and has never disappointed. Irrespective of whether he wins or loses, the kid always brings it. And uh, I've got so much uh, you know, appreciation for him being a part of the whole promotion. In turn, Chris knew and have a look at him go. One of the strongest Thai stylists in the division, bar none in the country. The boy from the with the blue shorts, trained out at Eight Blade Warriors, of course with Superboy and Dom. Uh, the guys again always supporting Warriors Way. Uh, eat, sleep, breathe Muay Thai non-stop. And of course we just saw Alexi from Eight Blades uh, win uh, his fight. So I'm sure they're going to want to make it two and zero tonight. With the boys from the crew from Beast Gym, they're here in force, they're here in numbers, and uh, they're certainly not going to go down uh, easily without a fight. The crew from Beast Gym always bring the goods, and in particular, Indigo Boyd, he's exciting, very exciting. He'll always do something unexpected. He just doesn't stand there and, uh, you know, walk forward, grind away, and uh, make it a, a boring win. He'll, he'll make it an exciting fight. He puts on the show for the people here watching and for you guys at home. The man in the red shorts. And been in the last two four-man eliminators to put on some great fights, particularly the one Warriors Way 21 where he broke his arm against Ruben Daz and finished the fight still yeah. tough as nails. Well, I think it was Ramesh that probably cracked that arm. That's it. Oh, that's um, right, yeah, it's Ramesh, Ramesh, yeah, Ramesh right. broke his arm. Yep. Oh, turning oh. heel kick. And I'm really amazed at the pace, the pace that these guys have put on from straight out of the gate tonight. I mean, this is a five-rounder, but they are already fighting like it's the third round or maybe even later. A lot of that technique, a lot of activity from both fighters. Yeah, a testament to their trainers. You know, John Bowman at Beast Gym, he's on the pads, he's down there, he breathes it, he lives it with the fighters, you know. Johnny Bowman, he's, you know, he's had a lot of personal challenges and, and uh, things thrown his way, but nevertheless, the man's at the gym, heading up that, that Beast Gym there and uh, doing it in, in, like a champion that he is. Stewie in the corner, great bunch of blokes. And well, that's it for the first round, three minutes of action here in this uh, main event of the evening as we take a look at the replay. There you go, Beast moving forward, swinging a miss from uh, Nguyen, and in that clinch, look at those knees, so powerful that uh, Indigo ends up hitting the deck. Yeah, certainly uh, that is going to score well for the blue corner, Chris Nguyen. Indigo looking uh, to showcase on the outside. Nguyen having none of it, wants to get on the inside, shut down the flashy technique, grab a hold of Indigo's neck and just start kneeing. Round number two. So as we get set for round two, here in this uh, main event of the evening, five by three minute rounds, full tie rules. Got to thank some of our other sponsors here this evening, CCM Insurance Group, Nutrition Pantry, TKD Denim, Revolt Fight Gear for the gloves. You see these gentlemen wearing Blackburn Car Care, and we thank all those guys for their continued support here at Warriors Way. And don't forget Warriors Way 24, October 5th, right here at the Shopping Town Hotel in Doncaster. Where else would it be? Newton's pouring on a bit of pressure. He's got Indigo backed up. Indigo really needs to find some lateral movement if he wants to get away, but beautiful body shot there, uh, body kick there from uh, Indigo. Great push kick. 
And certainly that push kick is, is just a good measure and uh, distance maker if, if your opponent's coming forward. It is one of the real bread and butter techniques of not only Muay Thai or kickboxing, of martial arts. You know, karate, it's the first thing you're taught is basically a reverse punch and a push kick. And uh, these guys are using it well. One of the most understated techniques of the, of the kicking arts. Both men back in the center. Oh, nice uh, spinning heel kick there from Indigo. They said, you always try something different, something out of the box, always an entertaining fighter. Nice low kick there from Nguyen. Nguyen just measuring with the jab. Ooh, not far away with that head kick there was Indigo. And Nguyen's almost got a little smirk on his face. He's looking very comfortable here tonight. Well, gonna, I was going to comment on Indigo's uh, choice of bleached hair, taking me back to 2001, 2002. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's trying to bring the, the naughties back. <laughs> Tell you what, if you want, to, you want to have a laugh, just have a look at Indigo Boy's Instagram. It never, fa <laughs> never, never fails to amuse the uh, Indigo. I think he's got a podcast even happening now. So uh, certainly he's showing a bit of entre entrepreneurial skills outside of the ring as well. Oh, he's got a new subscriber now. Always an entertainer. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they're fighting for the w WMC strap. And in the world of Muay Thai, the World Muay Thai Council is always held in high regard. Why have I elected to, to have the shows under the World Muay Thai Council? It's because there's too many dicky titles yeah. out there. Let me let me just get on the soapbox for a minute. <laughs> you can't just make up titles for the sake of selling tickets. There's a credible title, credible fighters, and I think tonight's show has shown it doesn't have to always be about titles. It's just got to be, you know, the guys getting in there, putting on a great, great fights. But if you're going to put on a title, might as well be a good one. And the WMC has been around for forever and a day in Thailand is held in high regard uh, and uh, I think the boys uh, Julia are, are, are stepping up to the occasion and, and they're going to really value this title and that's something they can look back on and, and be proud of not just something that someone else is going to roll out next week with. and that's the end of the round exciting fight from both guys pace has not let off since the start of the fight and Indigo Boyd here and Chris Nguyen, if we take a look at some of the highlights. And there it was, Nguyen, nice low kick, good body shot there from Indigo, high kick from Nguyen. Both fighters really well matched, and like you said, Stephen, just the, the, the pace of this fight's been absolutely fantastic. Of course, brought to you by Gasoline Alley. Beautiful spinning reverse kick there from Indigo. He tried that in the first round as well. He hasn't managed to connect, but if he does, you know it'll be lights out. Nice little uh, wrestle there, and I tell you what, Union's knees in the clinch have been absolutely sensational. Round, Round three. Number three here at Warriors Way 23. And uh, Indigo Boyd and Chris Dewan in our main event, WMC title on the line. Back into the clinch, and I'll tell you what, they are putting on an absolute technical masterclass here tonight at Warriors Way 23. These two fighters are just so well matched, so highly trained. It's anybody's fight. You know, gone are the days when guys used to fight toe boxing and Muay Thai rules and just look to walk forward and clinch up. These guys are showcasing great boxing on the outside, changing levels, body shots, working the jab nicely popping those kicks under the punches, and when they get into the clinch, it's entertaining. They're not just hanging on and, and throwing rubbish knees at the legs. They're getting up, they're turning each other's uh, body weight nicely. Have a look at that. It's textbook stuff, oh, Nic Nicholas, just it. as you said. I think that one ended up a little uh, too far south. That's oh. it. Cool. Accidental low knee from Indigo. Some of those shots can get a bit nutty, but we did see that <laughs> <laughs> we did see that uh, Nguyen in the first round managed to knee Indigo so hard that Indigo came off his feet and landed on the deck. So we know that he's been really hurting Indigo in those clinches with those knees. Is that going to be the deciding factor here? We're only going to be able to see by watching, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Chris, uh, Chris Nguyen, you know, in this weight division, he's been a powerhouse. Yeah. These guys, Indigo's dropped down the division. From the 63.5, he's gone down to 61.2. So this is Indigo's first fight in this weight, in this lighter weight. So, you know, you wonder how he's made, you know, how hard it's been for him to get to this weight. River Daz did the same thing, was fighting at 63, 
you know, 63.5, uh, uh, went down to 61.2, took the Aussie title in that division. Now he's on glory, he's back up to 65 kilo, having to fight up at 65. So you've got to change your weight divisions. It's how you adapt to that. But Chris Newen has always sat in this weight division and lighter, and I think he's really powerful at this. And uh, that's testament to when he gets in the clinch and throws these knees. Uh, another, another person that, to thank and he's ringside for this one is Matty Lim from uh, Ladbrokes. Ladbrokes uh, as well, always uh, getting behind the sport. So a big shout out to Matty Lim and the crew from Ladbrokes. Tell you what, the, the vibe here tonight is just absolutely electric. The crowd's so well educated. You know, everyone knows exactly what's happening and when it's happening. Everyone yelling, screaming for their favourite fighter. No one's left, you know, a lot of shows. They sort of they come to see the undercard fighters and then they take off, but uh, no. we've maintained the full house right to the very last fight, yeah, which I'm you. really happy with because it really does inspire the fighters to rally when that crowd's right behind you. You can hear them in the background too. Look at this fight. Like, this is a couple of techniques there from Indigo Boyd. Look at that. Oh, oh jumping downward elbow there. And they tie up. Wow, this is such a great fight here in our main event. It's, uh, Chris Newen and Indigo Boyd just try to spinning back fists a little far away there from Indigo. Not afraid to throw them at all. Indigo's throwing some really wild shots, and uh, if any of them land, then it'll be lights out, but he hasn't managed to land them just quite yet. Beautiful little inside elbow there. Back into the clinch, and maybe not the most successful spot for Indigo this evening. I think Indigo's... Uh thought process is throw unorthodox stuff because yeah. Newen will, anything orthodox or tech spot, Newen's going to read it. Do something a little bit crazy, he's not going to read it. But yeah. uh, Wise words there from Hammer. Here we go to the replay. We take a look here, some of the action. Again, trading body kicks. And uh, Indigo went high a couple of times with the head kick, as we see there, there's one. Uh, and just failed to connect, there's another one. So. As he's talked about, Hammer, trying to mix up some unorthodox stuff and try and throw Chris Newen out for a little bit. I reckon that spin kick to the head, if he would have gone to the body, might have might have got it under up under the rib cage. Yep. But uh, wanting to put on the show always, Indigo Boyd, the beast kid, uh, delivers <laughs> delivers the action all the time. Jumping downward elbow, launched himself Indigo into the spinning back fist. But Newen, calm, composed, and uh, he's really reading all those shots well. Round four. Round four. And you can hear the crowd on their feet. It's this great matchup here between Indigo Boyd and Chris Newen resumes. And man, what have we got left? We've seen it all tonight. Now, a big spinning elbow there from Indigo. And like you said, Hammer, Indigo's really switching up, whereas Chris is just straight to the point, just driving like a tank forward. Just keeping his base, you know, really strong guard. Indigo moving, being freestyle, which I love. I love a fighter that moves around and puts on a show, and uh, Indigo always delivers that. Chris Newen as well. You can't deny that he's strong and he's focused for this one. But Indigo now pushing the, pushing it a little bit in this round. They body lock from Newen takes Indy down. Great show of strength there from Newen and balance. Tell you what, I think once he gets the inside, once he gets that lock on in the clinch, and he's obviously been grappling with the likes of of Alexi Petrullius and, and uh, the 8-blade crew, Superboy, you know, you know he's going to be solid in that clinch. He's going to be like, you know, like wrestling a stop sign. Things not going to move too much. <laughs> not a giveaway sign. <laughs> not a giveaway. They've been <laughs> no, easy. No, no, no. Stop signs. <laughs> no, let me tell you about those parking yeah, lights. Oh, they just go nowhere. I've tried to rip a couple of them out of the ground. <laughs> Pickly, particularly those two-hour parking signs. Oh, mate, compared to the one hours. Yeah. But, uh, once again, Indigo just popping the jab, looking all oh, nice uppercut from the rear. Push kick there from Chris. And as I said, when, when it comes to the guys from Beast Gym, you know they're going to have good boxing skills. Beast Gym producing some great boxers these days. Ray Damascus. Oh, the man. oh, spinning heel kick. That one connected, but Chris Ewan gave it the smile. Said, is that all you got? <laughs> man, what a fight. Only go been looking for that all, all night. He finally landed it. Chris Ewan brushed it off. And man, they're still going at it here. Look how hard those knees are, gentlemen. Just, just non-stop. Just absolutely hammering away, jackhammering away at Indigo Boyd. So much power from so close a range. Just really impressed by Nguyen's knees in the clinch. Oh, you can see Indigo Boyd's eyes light up. 
There, there are. They're both gamers, these gentlemen. And which are time expiring here in this fourth round. Nice high kick from uh, from Indigo. But you see Newen, when he gets in the clinch, it's just ironclad. The elbows are down. They're in close to the body. His hands are entwined. And he's just smashing the knees to the body of Indy. Great left there from Newen. Caught Indigo. Indigo took a knee but bounced straight back up. Smashing the inside thigh also. Changing levels nicely, Newen. But uh, wow, what a fight. What a title fight. And tell me... Both of these guys are not worthy of a title. Yeah, Tell absolutely. You that. I, I dare anyone to say. Absolutely. Not a Mickey Mouse title either. It's total real deal. Real the guys, deal. And, and this is uh, this is real deal fighting here. Both guys pushing each other to the absolute limit. Wow. Only three minutes of this fight to go, and both of these guys have absolutely given it their all. And you can see the crowd here at the Doncaster Shopping Town Hotel loving. Let's have a look at the replay. From the kick to the spinning elbow, Indigo stepped through knee, Newen clubbing overhand right, Indigo. Body lock, Newen takes Indy down. And I'll tell you what, you can take both of these fighters anywhere in the world and they will stand toe to toe. Their technique, their training, their capacity oh, look to at fight that. Muay Thai is just absolutely second to none. Highlight real stuff from Indigo Boyd as well. Always delivers, always putting on a show for the crowd. Those knees there in the clinch. Big overhand right, and that was beautiful little uh, sweep there that managed to... Inside thigh, just uh, chopping away at the supporting leg. Let's make some noise, Melbourne. This is the fifth and final round. And you heard it from John Demacoli, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth and final round of the evening. What an evening it's been, and what a title fight and main event we've had so far. Steve White, Mark the Hammer, Castanini, and Nick Mara with you ringside tonight with all the action. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. I'll tell you what, gentlemen, thank you so much for the opportunity to commentate such an amazing show. Thank you, Fama, for, for putting together such great matchups. And we've had some phenomenal fights tonight. We've had those grind fights that go the distance. We've had some phenomenal knockouts as well. We've had some people go to absolute sleep this evening here at Warriors Way. But we've still got a few minutes left in this final main event of the evening. A big thank you to the team behind it, especially a shout out to Keith Grant who uh, helped me amass this, this Estella card. And uh, more to come, ladies and gentlemen, October 5th. Keep an eye out on the Warriors Way Instagram or on my Instagram, Mark the Hammer Castanini. And all the info and scoops and surprises will be announced shortly. Chris Newen, little uh, jumping right hand, showing he's got a little few moves of his own. Chris Newen, Superman punch. Indigo looking for that. A battering ram lead elbow through the guard of Newen. As he's used all evening. It looks again, all to the spinning back fist. That one was just centimetres away. As both guys trade jabs here. And uh, Indigo again looking for that head kick. Landed it in the fourth round. But uh, Chris Newen hard as nails. Both fighters just going blow for blow here in the final round of the main event. And I think either of them want to leave it to the judges. It's been, uh, how the hell do you score this kind of fight so far? It is such a close affair. Newen, though, pushing forward. Indigo, however, has, you know, he's shown great showmanship. And as I said, it's it's the styles make fights. Indigo on the outside, always entertaining. Chris Newen, just the, you know, the textbook tie boxer walking forward, trying to get that clinch, trying to smash the knees into the body. They're going to score well for him, gents. And you can see now that Chris is really high up on the balls of his feet, moving around a lot. Oh! Again, oh, oh, oh. That spinning reverse <laughs> kick and knew you knew it was coming. Almost oh. spun himself out of the ring, <laughs> Indigo. <laughs> can you take yourself Just down? <laughs> Just an absolute showman. Oh. And this is the stuff that gets people watching the fights, the stuff that Indigo Boyd is capable of doing. Oh, Chris oh, Newell, oh, tough oh, as you oh, like. Oh, a light man, but a hard man, Newen. <laughs> Neo versus Agent Smith stuff here in late in the final round. And you can hear the crowd on their feet now, trying to urge these guys on. Oh, oh there you go again. <laughs> stuff you only see in the movies, <laughs> Indigo <laughs> Boy is manifesting and centering our Warriors way. JV and John Claude would be pleased to see what, Mindy, what uh, Indigo can pull out of his Indigo back. Indigo in the hands goes, looking for that knockdown. He knows he needs a big finish, Indigo Boy. There it is. Oh, man. Wow. Well, how did you score it at home, ladies and gentlemen? But uh, a worthy main event, worthy title fight, this one. Indigo Boy.
Chris Newland. Hold your head up high, gents, because no matter who gets the belt, you're both worthy champions. And we take a look at the replay, some of the action here, of this uh, great title fight here tonight. And again, Indigo Boyd and Chris Newen. Again, Indigo looked for that spinning back fist a few times this fight, wasn't able to land it. But uh, again, Chris Newen had these subtle little counters. Again, both been tra trading high kicks. And again, it looked like a wushu demonstration there in <laughs> that just, fifth round. They certainly brought it all in the last round. They give it their all, these two guys, and that you have to appreciate, ladies and gentlemen. They've entertained just for you. What an epic main event we just witnessed, ladies and gentlemen. After five rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. Your three judges scored the contest. 49-46, 49-46, and 50-46. Your winner and new WMC Victorian State Champion, Blue Corner, Chris Nguyen. So Chris Nguyen takes out the WMC title here at Warriors Way in our main event. And wow, what a main event it was. But uh, you could have given that either way in my book, but it doesn't matter. Chris Dewan puts the strap on, and he's going to have a quick chat here with John Demicoli. Five rounds of action. He was going to be hard coming from Chris. Didn't quite get the win today, but, mate, I'm sure you want to say a few words. Uh, yeah, I, I just firstly want to say thank you to everyone that came down to support me. Thank you very much. Um, I was have a really important announcement. Um, tonight will be my last night uh, in the Muay Thai ring. <coughs> Ah, uh, been my last fight tonight. Thank you so much, Chris, for being my uh, my last fight. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, there's a lot of personal things going on in my life, um, and at the minute, fighting just isn't at the uh, top of my priorities. So I need to think with my head and not with my heart and take a step back. <coughs> um, thank you, uh, Australian Muay Thai. You've made me into the person I am today, uh, giving me direction. Uh, thank you so much. And again, thank you for everyone that came to support me. Uh, well done, Chris. Indigo, as a person seeing you fight from such a young age, you've given us a lot of great times in the center of the ring, and we wish you the best of well in whatever it takes you in the future, mate. Th thanks very much. Thanks, guys. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for, oh, Indigo, Boyd. for Indigo Boyd. Well, hopefully I can uh, encourage him back, but He's been a champion what a win. all the way through his career. Yeah. Um, on behalf of the Muay Thai community, I'd like to thank Indigo, wherever you're running off to. Um, thank you for the memories, and the Muay Thai world will be missing you when you're gone. Um, next, we did a team. Thank you for always coming to support me, my iPlay family in this corner and everywhere around the ring. Um, yeah, it was a hard fight after nine or so months off. Um, Indigo really brought it to me. He threw some stuff. I knew he was gonna throw some spinning stuff and some jumping elbows, but as soon as I, went here, I was in here, it didn't feel as bad. I must say for the kids watching out there in the world who had taken up Muay Thai, that was what you'd call a clinching clinic. Every time you got him in the clinch, you pulled him in tight, you threw the knees, he found it very hard to get out of your clinch. That was a, a big step up in your, it was amazing in your game, mate, well done. Thank you. Um, it's all up to, it's all because of my trainers and my team. They push me every day. Guys like Alexi, Quan, Dean, they don't let me rest so, so I can perform as I, I can today. So. Over the last two weekends, you had Quan have an absolutely unbelievable win last week. One of the best main events I've seen in a while. And tonight, Alexi in the semi main event, and you in the main event. Some sort of role. They fucking set the, sorry guys, they set the bar, so I had to try to perform as best as I could. I was tired after the third round, but boy, kept willing me on. My team kept willing me on, and uh, I got the win for you guys. One thing we must mention, the shiny WMC has coveted belt around your waist. How's that feel? Feels amazing. After coming off was 20, my 26th fight now, I lost my first four in a row. And if it wasn't for this, these people, I never came back. And, but they pushed me, and they believed in me, and I kept going. And this is where I am today. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Chris Nguyen. So Chris Nguyen, the winner here tonight at Warriors Way and a deserving winner in that. Takes the WMC title home. Well, we had a huge night of Muay Thai here at Warriors Way 23. Mark Hammer Castanini and uh, some memorable fights, no doubt. Well, I've certainly had it all tonight and uh, what can I say? Chris Nguyen, 
Indigo Boy, he says uh, that's his last fight. Hopefully we can see more of him because I think he's still got a lot more to go, Indigo. Chris Neal, congratulations. A big thank you to absolutely every sponsor, every fighter, and every person that tuned, tuned in, watched this show, and indeed was there live. On behalf of Mark Hammer, and Nick Mara, I'm Steve White. We'll see you next time on Warriors Way on Fox Sports. Thank <laughs> you.